Hey YouTube, I am Pine and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to record your favorite PC games using Fraps. Now there's a bunch of different software out there that's used to record video games. Um, this is only for PC by the way, so if you're on console this won't work. But what we're going to be doing, doing today is explaining Fraps. And in a video coming up we're also going to be doing DX Story. We use both these programs to record games such as Minecraft, uh, Call of Duty World of War, essentially any game you can find on the Steam or Origin Marketplace. and any actual video game on PC. So it's really handy, so let's go to the website here, fraps.com. Remember, everything is in the link in the description, so you can go check out all these websites, and you can download it. So, um, as you guys can tell, this is actually a remake. Um, this video has 201,000 views, so I want to thank you guys for that. That's crazy, over, almost, well over a thousand likes. But a lot of you guys had a bunch of questions. This is the main reason why I'm doing an, like an update, kind of, because it was up uploaded well over a year ago. So this is an update to 200,000 views in a year, I think that's just amazing. But anyway, if you want to download Fraps, what you want to do is you want to go to Fraps.com, obviously, link is in the description. You want to go to buy. Now, you're going to need to buy an actual um, license to record. That was one of the biggest questions on my last video, as people were wondering, why can I only record for 30 seconds? Why is there a big watermark? You have to buy Fraps. You can download Fraps and record for 30 seconds with a massive watermark. Um, but that's free to actually play for as long as you want, record for as long as you want, and with no watermark, you have to buy it for thirty-seven dollars. So it accepts PayPal, which I recommend you pay with because um, if you don't like the product, I think you get your money back. I forget what. Um, <coughs> sorry, my voice is is uh, giving up. But um, with PayPal, uh, you get your money back in case it is a scam. But let me tell you, the Fraps isn't a scam. I've bought the program myself and I absolutely love it. So, you want to download Fraps, 2.2 megabytes. I already have it downloaded. So, let's get started. So, I'll just type in Fraps. Be the first one to come up. Yes. Um, start on this hard drive. And it's going to start uh, minimized at the bottom. And I, I am on Windows 7, just clarifying. Um, you guys can probably tell. Anyway, so I'm going to go over everything. So, the main settings, which you're going to use. So, the Star Fraps minimized. As you can tell, when Fraps started, it started minimized, so that's why it's checked off. And this is kind of cool, Fraps window is always on top. So I'm going to start up a Minecraft 1.6 update, just came out like a week ago, and I hardly play because I've been on vacation. But notice how when you start up a game, this, uh, even if I have Minecraft selected, this window will always be on top. If I open up Chrome, even if Chrome is selected, Fraps will always be on top. So that's kind of a neat feature, I guess, I don't really think it's that useful though. Run Fraps when window starts, that's pretty obvious when you start up. Uh, your computer, you want Fraps to start or not. Um, and monitor Aero Desktop. Now, if you want to record your entire PC screen, like if you want to record from the top left corner to the bottom right corner, you're going to want to select that. So when I select that, that means I'm going to be recording my entire computer screen. Okay, so keep that in mind. So if you want to do a tutorial like the one I'm doing, you want to record your entire computer screen. Um, and in my system tray, that's pretty pointless. So next thing. This would be your like your benchmarks and stuff. If you're uh, an overclocker or a PC enthusiast, and anyone who records your benchmarks, like I got X amount average FPS in this game, etc., you can do that. Now this is where you actually do all your recording and stuff. This is the movies tab. This is the most like important tab if you want to learn how to do this. This was the most uh, requested uh, help, I guess. People needed in the com in the comment section of my last video. People had no idea how to record with this. Apparently, I wasn't very clear. As you can notice here, the top comment is "How do you start and stop recording?" And there have been two other, two thousand other comments like that. But what you're gonna want to do is you want to set a hotkey. So to do that, you simply select that and hit either F8, F9, F10, etc., and you can set your hotkey. Now to record, there's no big button on the screen that you press. You you press the actual physical keyboard button to start recording. Okay, so here you have uh, your actual uh, video capture settings. So 30 FPS, 50, 60, full size, half size. Now, let's say I'm playing Minecraft full screen, and I want to record full screen. If I want to record, I have a 1920 by 1080p monitor. If I want to record in 1920 by 1080p, I select full size. Keep that in mind, but uh, you'll also have larger file sizes, you'll have more lag while recording, etc. If you want to record half size, that means that it records 1920 by 1080p divided by 2. So it'll be exactly half. You will no longer be in HD, you will be recording in non-HD, you'll be recording in standard, yet you will still be playing in HD. You know what I mean, you know what I mean by that? Perfect. So um, 30 FPS, I think YouTube maxes out videos at 30 FPS, so keep that in mind. 
You can change it to 120, for example, but 30 FPS is probably the best. Um, next thing, uh, record Windows 7 sound. You want to select that to record game audio. I recommend you always do a test record to make sure everything's set up correctly, because sometimes perhaps might glitch and I might not be able to record your audio. Um, stereo and multi-channel, I recommend just doing stereo. Um, and to record your microphone, I'm using, I'm, I have a uh, Blue Snowball. This microphone is amazing, and I think it's only 60 bucks now. I bought it for 110, like a year and a half ago, two years ago. But this is an amazing microphone, but whatever you're using, if you're using a Turtle Beach, uh, or whatever gaming headset you're using, just make sure to select it. Um, if it doesn't come up, I recommend you uh, unplug it, plug it back in, and then select record external input. You have to restart fraps every time you plug in a, uh, your microphone that you want to use. Uh, only capture when pushing shift. So let's say I'm only pressing shift while I'm playing. Well, it'll only record audio while I'm holding shift. Makes sense. Now, hide mouse cursor in video. Yeah, I recommend you do that so you don't have an annoying little mouse thing showing up while you're recording. Lock frame rate. Um, that's not necessary. You can choose that. And force lossless RGB capture. It will be slower, and I believe your file size will be absolutely massive. And screenshots. I could really care less what screenshots you guys want to know how to record. So, to make sure that Fraps is recording your game, make sure your game is running, and then you're going to want to go to Overlay under the FPS tab, the Overlay hotkey. So what you can see here is, see on Minecraft, it's in the top right corner. If I hit uh, the top left corner here, it goes to the top left, bottom left, bottom right, etc. So what I always do is never have a game uh, full screen maximized. I can't do it right now because I'm recording and it would just be a blank screen. But what you want to do is you want to hit F12, which is the set hotkey. You can change this as well, obviously. But hit F12, you notice that it changes corners until it finally disappears. So it's always a good way to make sure that if your game is uh, full screen, you want to make sure that Fraps has selected your game to record. Just keep hitting F12, and make sure you see the FPS come up, uh, the FPS counter come up somewhere on the screen. So let's actually get into recording some gameplay. So, uh, as you can see here, let's minimize actually, for example. I have. Fraps is right here. So, can I drag this here? Yes, I can. Perfect. So, I recommend you do that. So, I'm going to go into single player. This will probably be extremely laggy. So, do keep that in mind. Shit. Yeah, like this, uh, this uh, program that I'm recording, my screen right now isn't meant for recording games, so it might be really laggy. Fraps is meant to record games though, so let's start recording. So if I check Fraps, I set my capture hotkey to F9. So I'll be playing my game, let's make sure it's selected, so I see my FPS. So uh, Fraps has selected this window to record, let's hit F9, which is the button to record. So now as you can see in the bottom right corner, the little Fraps icon, has turned from yellow to red. Red meaning recording, yellow meaning not recording. So right now I am recording, I'm recording my voice, etc. So now I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna break a block, and stop. Okay, so I just recorded some gameplay. So uh, you can check to see where you save it to, just by clicking this, and you can save what drive, whatever I wanna save to my, Blu-ray. that doesn't make sense, if I can save it to my local disk, etc. I save it to, my, uh, to a different drive, I have two drives on my computer, so let's go to that drive. Um, SSD, gameplay. So I saved it here. So I'm going to stop talking so you guys can hear. So now as you can see in the bottom right corner, the little fraps icon has turned from so yellow see, to red. Um, red meaning now notice how I recorded half size. As you can see here, I selected half size to record. So let's go full size this time. So let's do another test. Uh, make sure, yeah, this game is selected. Hit F9. I'm now recording, you may notice a bit more frame rate lag, because I am, this is essentially recordception, I'm recording a recording. So I'm going to stop recording now, you notice that the fraps icon on the bottom right has gone back to yellow, I'm going to go check my uh, saves, and here's the full screen. I'm now recording, you may notice a bit more frame rate See, lag, so that is the full screen recording, I so notice how the resolution changes, if you go full screen you're going to have a lot better quality than if you go half size. So, and that's about it, uh, you may notice... Um, a couple other things, so just some handy tips when uh, recording with Fraps. Uh, if you record a lot with Fraps, if you record a video that's 12 minutes long, if it's over uh, 3 minutes long, well I guess, sorry, ignore that, if it's uh, any video you record, it will be cut down into 3 minute segments. So you need an, an editor of some sort, I recommend uh, Vegas Pro, or whatever you want to use. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, whatever, you can, there's dozens out there of different uh, recording software, or sorry, editing software, 
So you're going to get a bunch of these little three minute clips, and what you have to do is you need to put them all together into one. So you need to mesh them together. So here's Vagus, for example. Now here are... Hey guys, uh, sorry about that, I got a phone call. Pretty important. Anyway, so... Um, here I'm going to teach you guys how to actually sync your clips together. So like I was saying, when you record for more than 10 minutes or for just a long time, you'll notice that all of your fraps or your fraps video that you're recording will be cut into a series of three, three and a half minute segments. So in order to actually upload your full 10 minute video to YouTube, you're going to have to sync them all together render them all together in some sort of editing program. So as you can see here, I've opened up Vegas Pro 10, a uh, personal favorite editor that I've been using for the past three, four years. It's great. And uh, so I have my two clips here that we recorded uh, a couple minutes ago. So I'm gonna drag these into Sony Vegas. This program, it's a couple hundred bucks, but I'm sure you can find a couple ways to get it for uh, a cheaper price. Let's just say that. Um, so as you can see here, here is our clip recording. So right now I am recording, I'm recording my voice. Yep, that's me talking. Then you may notice a bit more frame rate. So as you can see here, the second clip, this is the second clip I recorded, this is the full size. This is the full size um, uh, capture, so you notice, you notice really high quality, it's going to be just uh, 1080p uh, resolution. And you notice here, this is going to be half as good, it's going to be 1080p divided by 2, so it's going to be, I don't want to do math, 540, but that's not taking a great resolution. Um, yeah, so as you can tell, I recommend you really do record in full size. Half size isn't that bad, but it just doesn't look very good. So if you record full size, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Render As, which is this little button here, bam. And you're going to go to Save As Type. There's going to be dozens here to choose from. Um, you know, this might be a bit different depending if you're using Sony, Bo Sony Vegas Pro 10 or Pro 12, whatever. There's many different ones. So you want to go to uh, Main Concept, ABC slash AAC, and it's going to be a .mp4. This is my favorite. Uh, type of record under. So you want to go to default template, which is probably what you can be under already. Go to custom. You want to make your own recording template with your own settings. So you want to uh, have custom frame size at 1280p by 720. That's going to be the best. You, uh, unless you really want to do 1920 by 1080, that's going to be full HD. But for YouTube, very few people actually watch 1080p. So 720p is was really good. Um, one pixel aspect ratio. Number of reference frames too. Use the blocking filter, and you can be constant bitrate and variable variable bitrate. What you want to do is on hit variable, hit two pass, and you're going to let. What well, you're going to want to change this from like 768,000, which is the default, to more like 20 million. Seems like quite the jump, but I recommend you go to maybe. Uh, there's 14 here. You can go to maybe 16 or 18. That's what my settings are like, and you can view my quality tests on my channel. I'll have links to all those and annotations and stuff, so you can go check those out. So that's what I, uh, those are my render settings. So what you want to do is when you're done, your video, you want to, shit, sorry. Um, you want to select it like this. This is unnecessary, but um, let's just change that. So the entire video is selected. Um, you just want to go to render as, and then save it to wherever you want, and then you're done. That's your video. And then from there, you can upload it to YouTube, which should be in a .mp4 format. Now, one more little tip. If you notice that there's black bars on the top and bottom of your video, and you don't like that, because I don't like that, um, you want to go to right click, you want to go to switches, and check off maintain aspect ratio. So unselect it, because in my opinion it just doesn't look very good, I can't stand black bars. So that really tends to help, uh, looks the video a lot, look a lot nicer. Like I said, if you recorded in half size, I recommend only recording 480p, or sorry, rendering at 480p, because you can render it in 720p, but you're still your actual raw format is still in standard. It won't look anywhere near the quality of a, a full size recording compared to half size. So if you really want to get high quality, I recommend you really do full size because that's probably the best. So I think that's the end of my video here, my tutorial. If you enjoyed, definitely drop a like writing. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Um, I also have a, an annotation on the screen so you guys can check out the DX Tori video as well because we use two different types of software to record. We use Fraps and we use DX Tori. We use Fra uh, DX Tori most often because it's more suited to uh, a really powerful PC, one that's uh, gamer oriented or just um, high end. If you have something that's a bit more low end or older, I recommend going with Fraps just because it's a lot easier to use. The X story is very complicated, and so that's just our personal opinion. Uh, you can add us on Steam or Origin if you like. I just downloaded Black Ops 2 because it's on sale on Steam right now. It's a Steam Summer Sale, and I got it for 30 bucks. That's great. 
download a last I have video. So XP one and three X, you can add me on that, or you can add me on Steam at XP one and three X as well. I, don't, I hate the Sims. They don't, they're just advertising everywhere, you know. But you can uh, add me in that. And um, yeah, that's about it. Any comments, or questions? Remember, leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer all of them. Thank you for twenty thousand.